I wonder, if I had the chance to interfere with Copernicus, how would he respond? Let us challenge that idea. Broadcasting live to you, H-E-A-R-N Television, with Christian Hearn. Copernicus was born in 1473 and collected books throughout his life, including the works of Ptolemy. To Copernicus, Ptolemy's geometrical constructions failed to do what the original Greek philosophers saw as their objective. Copernicus understood that the sun was at the center of the universe and produced a much simpler system. But in the end, he could not dismiss the circular motion presented by Ptolemy's research, and it was a real success. Hello, Copernicus. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Considering I died of a stroke on May 24th, 1543. What is heliocentric and the theory behind it? Helio means sun, and centric means center. Together means the sun is in the center of the universe, which explains my belief. However, my theory is the sun is at the center, and all the planets rotate around the sun in a circular motion. Hmm, interesting. Now, what are some comparisons you would have made to the geocentric theory during your research? Some comparisons I made during my research of the geocentric theory are First, Earth is in the center of the moon's orbit. Second, all the planets orbit the sun, which is near the center of the universe. Third, the universe is much larger than previously thought. Fourth, the Earth's distance to the Sun is a small fraction of the size of the universe. Fifth, the apparent motion of the stars and the Sun through the sky is a result of the Earth's motion. And lastly, sixth, retrograde motion is an illusion created by the Earth's motion. Hmm, I wonder, Copernicus. How was your theory received among the community? Heliocentrism caused many problems for Bible believers. They couldn't imagine me, a devoted Catholic, with the most God's earth from the central position. It implied a demotion of humankind. So, my publications were banned among the Christian communities. You see, Protestants deployed my works but they were not powerful enough to reach the Catholics. Thank you, Copernicus. You have answered a lot of wanted questions. Until next time. From the end of the 1600s, scientists, most educated people, and religious leaders have accepted the heliocentric theories of Copernicus. Kepler, Galileo, and Newton. Thank you for tuning in. I am your host, Christian Hurd, and until next time, God bless.